What's going on, my slow team? My name is Juice. If you're brand new here, be sure to, um, I'm sorry, if you're brand new here, yeah, if you're brand new here, be sure to subscribe, press the bell notification. Um, if you are returning back, welcome back to the channel. Once again, if you're brand new here, my name is Juice. I mainly post videos on this channel in regards of the Matrix. I have several YouTube channels. I have like five. This channel, I only post videos in regards of the Matrix. Um, these videos also promote self-awareness, self-discipline, self-motivation. It also helps you, helps people be inspired and just uplift people, just positivity. Just these things, these videos, these, this type of content puts you in a, 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 or just helps you just remain in this high vibration. And that's where you want to be at all times, a high vibration. And that's what I promote here. So if that's what you're into, those type, those kind of topics or subjects, once again, um, support this channel and myself by subscribing, pressing the bell notification, comment, like, share. All those things help very much get these videos out to more people who need to see this information so they too could adopt good habits and remain in a high vibration like us in this community. Just, you know, high vibration all day, man. Happy. Nothing scares me. COVID-19, not scared of it. Not, I'm good. Anyway, so um, that's that's what I really want to just talk about in this video. Um, the topic has a lot to do with COVID. Um, basically, what I want to say is if, if you're brand new to this type of, of, of information, the matrix, my thing is this. COVID-19, whether it's a virus from COVID or whatever virus it is, everyone's going to get sick at some point, even me. I haven't been sick in years, but eventually I will get sick from some something, some something common, common cold, fever, flu, something. We get sick. But the thing is, when you do um, have some type of illness is your body able to fight it off on its own and that's what I never hear on mainstream news I, I already know news is fake news um, pro just propaganda all day just frauds basically right I already know this but it's kind of sad how people still consume mainstream news and they take their information and make that into their own truth their own reality I find that to be sad because to me that's irresponsible and it's very dangerous because um, that's their opinion. That's their advice, whatever you want to call it. That's their opinion. The news people, new, the news people, ma mainstream news. That's their opinion. My thing is you should always go seek information and just do your own research before taking some before taking anyone's opinion, even mine. Right. It's best if you go see it for yourself, dig up the information yourself and consume it that way. And that's it. You know, you see it for yourself is the best way to approach it. I always say this. Go see it for yourself. Don't listen to me. Do not listen to anyone on the news. Your friends, family, go see it for yourself. That's the best option for all of us. Right? I mean, that's how you, that's, that's, that's from using your brain. You think for yourself. Right? You, <laughs> you go and do your own research and you think for yourself, not watch news and let them think for you. Because that's what's going on in today's world. It's been like this for decades. They think for us. They think they're authorities to think for us. Like, we don't know what to do. And sadly, some people don't know what to do when it comes to health. They have no idea. I'm not saying I'm some kind of guru in, in health. But for me, I'm not protect myself. I know what to do for myself. Meaning, I take good care of myself from healthy eating. Um, I work out frequently. Um, I mean meditate getting some sunlight get you know sleep i'm 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 not depressed i'm not angry i'm not stressed out i'm taking care of myself cuz all those things are the real medicine for a human body not drugs i'm not against taking medicine and drugs if it's something someone needs to if you if, if, if that's someone's last option drugs surgery by all means but my thing is it shouldn't be the first option for everyone as if there's no other options out there that's effective like what i just mentioned healthy eating means plant-based, not consuming body parts, animals, body parts, poison, right? Exercise frequently, enough sleep, not being stressed out, meditating, getting so much sunshine, it's not even funny. This is crucial, man. So like, like I said, it's not if you get COVID, if you get virus, when you get these things, when it happens to you, is your body strong enough to fight these illnesses or diseases that's the real question we should all be asking ourselves because everyone gets cancer cells cancer is still here 
Diabetes is still here. COVID-19 just kind of have the spotlight right now. And everything else seems to be like, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. They're still here. Heart disease is still here. <laughs> it's still relevant. So like I said, the body can fight off these, these, these cancer cells on its own. That's what it's designed to do. The body is very intelligent. It does that. If you feed it the right sources, water, clean food, meaning plant-based, you know, um, being happy, not being stressed out, getting enough sleep, crucial, man. I don't know what else to say besides that, but that's really what's going on. And that's what needs to really be the focus for a lot of us is making sure we get enough of these lifestyle medicines that I just mentioned. Real medicines. Every day, this is medicine to the human body. And if you don't give it that right source, it will malfunction. It will have no other choice but to malfunction. That's how people get cancer. That's how people get sick. Viruses and all this mess. That's, that's how it works. It's just that easy. It really is. It's not that complicated. You know? It's just making time to do these things for yourself. You have to take care of yourself first. It's responsible. What's irresponsible is what I said before. Watching mainstream news and consume all their information and make their opinions become our reality. That's irresponsible. They can tell us whatever they want. Anything they want. I just I just watched this on, on news last night. Mind you, I don't watch news because I believe them. I always, and I will keep saying this, I only watch mainstream news to see what they're not doing, what they're not talking about. That's why I watch them. I know they're not going to talk about what I just mentioned. Healthy eating, plant-based, work, work out frequently, getting sunshine, meditating, get your supplements, all these things they never talk about. Is it, like, it doesn't matter. They only talk about vaccines. They scare people, fear-mongering. This is, this is their job. This is, this, is, this is what they're designed to do. They're frauds. They're all fake. Fake meaning they're not going to tell you the truth. They're going to give you the BS so they can profit and, re and remain in power. It's just it's that simple. It really is that easy to understand what's going on in today's world. Well, if you're... What, call it whatever you want to call it. Being, being woke, being spiritual, call it whatever label you want it. What I call it is being aware. That's why I promote on this channel, like I said, self-awareness. Being aware of your surroundings, being aware of what's going on so you don't become a victim. If you don't know, you'll become a victim. Some people still don't know there's, 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 like there's a cure for cancer. There's a cure for diabetes, heart disease. They are reversible. You can arrest them. You can, um, literally you can, like, you, you can control cancer like a light switch, on and off, with your poor habits or good habits. That, that, that's how much control we have over all these these, these illnesses that they claim are not curable. They, meaning the government and the medical industry, claim they're not curable, only can treat it. This is how they stay in power. This is how we become victims, right? This is how we become victims from what they say. There's no cure but only treatment. Who's paying for those treatments? Us. Who's getting the money from these treatments? Them. Who remains in power? Them. Who continues to be sick? Us. It's not hard to see this. Like I said, these videos, if you're new to this kind of information, watch more of my videos. <laughs> watch more of them and consume and learn. And please do your own research. Never watch any one of my videos or anything on YouTube, any YouTuber, whatever information that you're consuming, always see if it's valid by doing your own research. I cannot stress that enough. That is the smartest, most important thing that you can do for yourself and if you have children i will teach them that same habit think for yourself the school teacher can get it wrong too we already know school school teachers in public schools don't teach truth we already know this i'm not against school i'm against the bs i'm against the bad system that's that controls the 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 um like the public schools basically that makes any sense there there's a system in place that controls educational um, institutions in this country, the, the, the U.S. I'm against that system because it's not teaching truth. It's just not. They, 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 they taught me dairy is healthy. They, they taught me uh, or they try to program my brain and they did at first that consuming cow's milk is healthy when it's the opposite. It promotes chronic diseases, breast cancer from women, 
um, something, just some kind of terrible disease or illnesses dairy will give you. It's, it's breast milk for a cow. Long story short, it's unhealthy. Yet they feed this to all children. Um, nurse, nursery homes, patients in hospitals. They, they feed them poison, literally, cow's milk. But this is from not being aware. This is from not doing your own research and not, you know what I mean? Like come up with your own, not opinions, but um, fact, basically. From doing research, right? There's so much that they don't tell you that's out there that they're not going to tell you. If you find it, you find it cool. If not, that's your business. You'll become the victim. I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what else to say, man. Best thing, like I said, er, like like I said earlier, the the smartest thing you can do for yourself and your family. If you have children, I would teach them how to think for themselves, how to always do their own research, and find out their own information before taking someone else's opinion or advice. Seriously, it's like going to like it's like it's like going to like the the dentist. You get your clean, <laughs> you get your mouth clean, your teeth. You know, you get something fixed that needs to be fixed, right? And they claim to be against sugar, right? It, it, it ruins your teeth, bad sugar, right? And then you walk out with the freaking lollipop in your hand, bad sugar. Doesn't make any sense. Like they want you to have the cavities. All I'm saying is, man, all I'm saying, and I said this like 10 times already, do your own research for everything and everything that they promote on the news, see if it's valid. They said COVID-19 is airborne. I haven't died yet. I haven't passed out yet. No homeless people have passed out dead yet. I, I, I don't want to see this happen, but not one homeless person has been reported to just drop down and die from this airborne disease that they claim is airborne, COVID-19. It's not airborne. I know it's not airborne, but some people think it is. Some people think going outside literally without wearing a mask, they would get sick. I don't know what else to say, man. Do your own research. That's that's the best thing I tell anyone. Do your own research. Always, always do that instead. It's it's just it's irresponsible not doing that. It's it's just a very dangerous thing not to do. Not seeing your not seeing it for yourself. It just is. Even listening to me right now is bad. And not doing your own research, right? Whatever I say is my opinion. I saw for myself. I much rather you go see for yourself. That's all I'm just talking about here. Whatever I talk about, go see if it's valid. I'm going to tell you right now, it's against the law to feed children processed meat in New York City. School system. Public schools are not allowed to feed children in New York City processed meat. Pepperoni, chicken, all that mess. Right? Cold cuts, hot dogs. It's against the law. Go see if it's valid. Go see if what I just said is true. Now, if you want to see that, and if, if you want to see if that's uh, a valid story, what I just told you, Go on Google and type in NYC ban processed meat. Read. There's several articles on this story I just mentioned. Um, children are not allowed to eat meat. It's, 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 it's against the law to feed them processed meat. Go see for yourself. So if it's, if it's unhealthy for them, it's unhealthy for all children throughout the entire nation. Yet it's not being pushed or it's not becoming a trend you know, in other cities or states. Only in New York City. So as a parent, if I if, if I were a parent, I'd be outraged, big time. I'd be super outraged. But parents don't know about this information because they don't do their own research. They only listen to mainstream news, and they're 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 they're, they're irresponsible doctors. Not all doctors are, are irresponsible. There are some amazing ones that I know of, but a lot of them, a lot of doctors are scumbags. They don't know they know nothing about new, about nutrition. They don't know about these stories about cancer. Is curable. You can reverse it. They don't know, and these are the authorities. Crazy. You'll become a victim because you don't know. I don't know what else to say, man. Like I said, the the vaccines will be here. Um, people people are gonna have to take them, and their bodies may be really weak. Maybe not be able to take the vaccine. They may pass out. I don't know. It's all about just. It's it's all about having good habits when it comes to your health. Frequent fitness is mandatory. Healthy eating, sleeping well, being stress-free, mandatory. Getting sunshine, mandatory. If you can't get the sunshine, supplements, mandatory. Catch you on the next video. Much love to you. Thanks for watching. Peace out.